Boeing Co. says it has reprogrammed software on its 737 MAX passenger jet to prevent erroneous data from triggering an anti-stall system that is under mounting scrutiny following two deadly nose-down crashes in the past five months. The plane maker says the anti-stall system, which is believed to have repeatedly forced the nose lower in at least one of the accidents in Indonesia last October, would only do so one time after sensing a problem, giving pilots more control. It will also be disabled if two airflow sensors that measure the angle of attack or angle of the wing to the airflow, a fundamental parameter of flight, offer widely different readings, Boeing said, we are going to do everything that we can do to ensure that accidents like these never happen again. Mike Sinnott, Vice President for Product Strategy and Future Airplane Development told reporters near Seattle on Wednesday. The anti-stall system, known as MCAS, or Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, has been pinpointed by investigators as a possible cause in a fatal Lion Air crash in Indonesia and another fatal crash in Ethiopia on March 10. Existing 737 pilots will also have extra computer-based training, following criticism that MCAS was not described in the aircraft manual. Boeing has previously said existing cockpit procedures would cover any example of runaway controls caused by MCAS. The changes were drawn up in response to the Lion Air crash but are seen as crucial to regaining the trust of pilots, passengers and regulators after the Ethiopia crash prompted a worldwide grounding Boeing 737 MAX planes. Ethiopian officials and some analysts have said the Ethiopian Airlines jet behaved in a similar pattern before crashing shortly after takeoff from Addis Ababa, but that investigation is still at an early stage. Boeing executive Sinet told reporters the software had been through extensive testing, including flights with U.S. Federal Aviation Administration regulators. However, he said he could provide no time frame for when the 737 MAX jets would return to service, saying the new software upgrade and training protocols must be approved by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration and regulators around the world. However, the FAA denied on Wednesday that it had granted provisional approval for the anti-stall software upgrade. The aviation regulator said it had worked with the company throughout its software change and we have not received the completed software enhancement for review and certification.